All right, Pete, our live pinpoint weather team coverage of tonight's impending storm continues now. Many local communities are preparing for the potentially strong weather. They're getting into position now to better deal with any problems overnight. Highway to Sue's reporter Alex DePrado joins us now live in Providence with what he's learned. Well, Mike and Karen, the winds have been on and off throughout the night. You could see just by this tree behind me, it was really kicking up in the wind just a few minutes ago. But the real concern is storm drains, as you see here now, that leaves have started to fall and are covering them, clearing them for cities across the state, is job one. The winds of change are blowing. You can see it in the trees. And soon it will mean heavy rain across the region, which is why Rhode Island's largest cities are preparing. In Providence, city workers spent the day clearing out storm drains in areas known to flood, like here behind Roger Williams Medical Center. The city's emergency management agency says it also has 10,000 sandbags ready on standby. We're preparing uh, just like we did in the past for, you know, possibly another, you know, uh, torrential downpour. In Cranston, Mayor Alan Fung says his office directed city workers to fill sandbags, which are stored in this Department of Public Works building on Phoenix Avenue. Storm drains have also been cleared and chainsaws have been gassed up should trees come down in high winds. After the historic flooding in the spring, Fung says it is better to be safe than sorry. Every time we're uh, here, you know, the word rain or potential flood, you know, it makes everyone nervous, including me. And Warwick has done much of the same. Sandbags are on standby. The city has also put trucks strategically throughout the uh, the city just in case. We're live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom tonight. I'm Alex Toprato, Eyewitness News.